I want to define the difference between a real estate agent and a real estate investor because when I asked, do you have to have your real estate license to flip houses, not everybody uh, yelled out no because maybe some people weren't sure of the answer. Now, first let me say there are some states, very limited states, a few states where uh, in order to wholesale real estate, you actually do have to have your real estate license. Very few and far between. I think Illinois is one of them and it's always some kind of crazy, uh, uh, I don't want to get political, but anyway, it's always crazy states, right? But anyway, so we don't have that here. We don't have those kind of onerous uh, kind of rules and things, but there are big differences between real estate agent and real estate investor, right? So you see the description up on your screen. If you didn't see it already within the newsletter we gave you when you walked in there are notes there's some fill in the blanks it's just to kind of keep your attention and so that you don't drift off and start looking at your phone okay real estate agent is a licensed professional who represents buyers or sellers in real estate transactions being paid a percentage of the property's sale price or rental income so as a real estate agent you can actually be a property manager you can rent other people's houses for them and typically you'll make 8 10 12 percent of the rental income and you're getting a percentage of the income that comes in on the property right or you can help people sell their property buy and sell property and you'll usually earn a commission of around six percent and that's split with the other real estate agent etc cetera, etc cetera. and so that's how the realtor real estate agent world works Okay. Obviously, a real estate investor now is something different. It's a person who purchases or controls. Now, that's a very, very important thing. Sometimes we think the only way to invest in real estate is to actually buy it yourself. Some of the things that we have taught you guys here, and if you're not a member, jump on the website, you join, jump on the website, go back and listen to some of the things we've taught previously. But there are numerous ways to actually just control real estate, be able to even rent out real estate. One of the ones, the guy that was up here from California mentioned a master lease, right? Where you lease a property and then you're in charge of releasing it out and making money off of it. You could actually lease it from somebody and then do it on Airbnb, kind of a little arbitrage play, right? There's a lot of different ways to make money in real estate, even just controlling it, not necessarily owning it, right? But it's a person who is owning or controlling real estate other than their primary residence in order to generate income and build wealth. Okay, so there's two differences there, but I'm going to try to convince you that there's viability in both. And in fact, both of them are very important. Sometimes in this business, and I don't think it happens a lot in this room, because we do, I go overboard to teach on the importance of cooperation in business and not seeing the people sitting next to you as competition, but seeing them as potential joint venture partners. And when you view it that way and you think that way, you open yourself up for many more opportunities. And I can tell you, if you go through and start surveying all the people in this room, very few of them have done any deal that didn't involve some other people that sat in this room. Jeremy Hands, how many syndications have you done that involved some other pig members in the deal? A bunch. Right, a bunch, right? As how many of you guys have done joint ventures or got private money it, it, or get a wholesale deal or wholesaled the deal? Uh, there's a, all these things are happening, right? And so we want there to be cooperation, but not just with an investor world, but also understanding that both real estate agents and certainly in the syndication space or in the commercial space, brokers are more important uh, in finding deals, but also on the selling of deals and getting da data. Having investor friendly real estate agents in your world is important. Okay? So we want to see them as enemies and sometimes that happens where agents feel like investors are the bad seeds and investors feel like agents are annoying and all that. But both of them have a great place, an important place in the real estate ecosystem. Right? But I believe because they're so important, perhaps you should consider, and I'll be making that sales pitch tonight, being in both of those.